is that little twerp? We planned to walk home together. Did they just forget? Ah, there they are. Huh, someone's obedient. You are the goody two shoes type of person, aren't you? <laughs> what? What you're looking at, huh? I'm still here, you know. It's nothing? Uh huh. As if I don't know that you're still scared of me. Look, you don't have to lie just to sound brave or anything. And even if you were, like I said, I ain't giving you a chance. Hey, don't go walking away. Hold your horses, idiot. That's the wrong way. You keep heading down that road and you hit the city centre. Our houses are the other way. Yep, giddy up. It's this way. Hey, you trying to run away from me? <laughs> Don't even try. I'm faster than you. There's no way you'll outwalk me. Besides, I need to keep you safe in case anything happens to you. Got it? <laughs> Good. Anyways, say, you moved to this town recently, right? You don't know the neighbourhood that well, or you wouldn't have gone the wrong way. I see. Well, right, then I'll teach you the basics. Hopefully your brain's smart enough, because I'm only going to say this once, okay? Alright. So, let's take the school for reference. With your back facing the place, if you head to the east, you're heading to the town centre. Head west, like we're going, and you'll reach our neighbourhood. North is another neighbourhood, but I wouldn't go there if I were you. Why? Well, because if you head north, you're going into our rival's turf. There's another school up north, and the guys there don't like us here. If someone like you, from our school, goes right there, you're definitely asking for trouble. I'll repeat so your head can get it right. Don't head north. Got it? <laughs> sure. If anything happens, I might go and save you. But that's only if I'm in a good mood. So make sure that you aren't stupid and just head west when you leave school. Oh, it's the convenience store. Hey, let's make a stop here. Gotta buy something real quick before going home. Huh? What are you talking about, jackass? I don't smoke. I hate cigarettes. <sighs> oh, I get it. You think I'm some smuggler, huh? Or because I'm a bully, you think I'll just do all these delinquent things? Delinquent, illegal things? Well, you little model citizen, I thought about telling you to wait for me here, outside the store. But since you're all so worried about me being a smoker, I'm bringing you in with me. See? I didn't buy those cigarettes that you thought I was going to buy. I bought chocolate, not a packet of cigarettes. And here, pick one. What? I just, I, I just bought you one as a reward for following what I said. Just d d don't go thinking you're special or something, you twerp. Ugh. Finally we're home. Here we are, home sweet home. And there's your house, right? <laughs> well, I did say our houses were next to each other. At least it makes it easier for me to walk you to and from school. Safe and sound. <laughs> yep, we're even closer than I thought. That's very good indeed. Huh? Well, I, I said that because I, I had I had to walk too far to pick you up. Don't think too much about it. Anyways, it's starting to get dark, and I don't want you to stay outside for too long. It's getting cold, and rather dangerous. So hurry up and get inside. 
You better remember that I'm picking you up this morning, okay? Don't be late. Uh, have they left already? Oh my god, I absolutely love them so much. Oh, you're just so cute. So, so cute. I'm gonna make our friendship a reality. Just you wait. <laughs>